is Ms. Price, and I'm the Family Consumer Science teacher in Ravenna Middle School. And I have two students with me today. I have Sonia and Desiree, and they're in my consumer foods class. Well, recently in class, we had a lesson on fruits and vegetables. So today, these young ladies, they're going to demonstrate a really wonderful muffin for you all. They're gonna make for you a carrot and banana muffin, okay? So, these girls have uh, become like professionals at making this recipe. So what I'm gonna do today, is I'm just kinda gonna step over to the side and let these young ladies do their things. You ladies ready? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. So in this bowl, we have one cup of all-purpose flour, and then I have half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a dash of salt. So I'll put it in there. In here, I have half a cup of applesauce, one egg, one fourth a cup of granulated sugar, one fourth a cup of brown sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so, so it looks like you guys have your dry ingredients, and then you over here we have uh, Sonia, you're working on our wet ingredients, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's a good way so to get I'm our going, teamwork. I'm going to mash the banana for the. So. And this is, this banana is really ripe, so it's soft. Okay. Alrighty, good job. Alrighty. Looks like, Tony, you're using the dark brown sugar. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. Good job. So this is almost mashed. And I'll tell you what, when you guys are working on that, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these items out of your way here. So you have a really good work. I'll be the assistant today. How about that? Okay. So I'm going to mix this up. Okay. Good job. Look at that. So then I'm going to put this in here with the wet things. Okay, so it looks like you're going to put your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients? Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Alrighty. So, uh, Desiree, what's your favorite fruit and your favorite vegetable? Um, well, my favorite, well, I like a lot of different fruits, but um, I think pineapple is my favorite. Pineapple and is then, your favorite? And then okay. vegetables, I like carrots. Okay, so. and what about you, Sonia? My favorite fruit is mango, and I love carrots. Okay, oh yeah. I like carrots too. Um, one day last week, I brought in a whole bunch of different types of fruits and vegetables um, for the kids to try and taste. So, so was there any of those fruits and vegetables that neither one of you all ladies could tell what, tell what was what? I didn't know what the plantain was. Oh, the plantain? Yeah, I didn't know yes, what it Okay, was. all right. So yeah, they kind of look like a banana. You thought it was a banana. Did it taste different than a banana? It tastes nothing like a banana. Tastes nothing like a banana? Okay. It was like, like not as soft and stuff. Okay. It had a different taste. It was like hard. Oh, it was like hard it was? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that looks really good. Hey, let's show it over so they can kind of see how those two came together. It looks really, really good. So it looks like probably what we're going to do now is probably get these into a muffin pan here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to slide down through here a little bit. And, okay, so I noticed that you guys are using measuring cups. Can you all kind of explain a little bit why you would be using the measuring cup so that people would know? Well, we're using a one-fourth of a cup okay. to put them in there. So, like, if we put too much so it doesn't, like, go one over. One-fourth fit, like, perfectly into the muffin tin. Okay. All right. So. All right. Cool. And it looks like they're wet in the bottom. Did you, like, use Ms. Price's tip of spraying it with some butter spray? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it go. Alrighty, good job. You guys look like you've made these a couple of times. How many times have you all made these this week? Like uh, three. Three times. Okay, alright. And so when you put these in the oven, how long do they bake? They bake 17 minutes, but if they're not fully done, then we put them in like one minute or two minutes. Okay, alright. What are some other fruits or vegetables you guys could probably think would be really good in this recipe? Um, um I don't know. I would say maybe raisins or some type of yeah. a nut would be really good. Some pecans. Oh, that sounds really good. Miss Price likes nuts and raisins and all types of fruits and vegetables. 
So for vegetables, Brussels sprouts, not quite sure. Um, I grew up on a farm and lots of times I would make different types of vegetables and fruits and stuff for my kids. Mm, guys are doing really well. Okay, all righty. I really like your teamwork. Good job. And I noticed that you guys put applesauce in here. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I know sometimes when I bake at home, I'll use applesauce in place of any oil or butter in the recipe. It makes it a lot healthier. And also what it does, it will uh, make it really moist. You guys, are, you guys have learned well this semester about Ms. Price, about getting every little drop. <laughs> All righty. Looks like we can get about, what, one more maybe? Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Wow, you guys did that really quick. <laughs> so we will now put them in the oven. Make sure you clean your pan off here. It looks like you guys did that really, really quick. Okay, I'll hand you that and I'll let you clean your pan off here. Okay. All righty then. So I'll hand that to you. Mm -hmm. Oven it. Okay. Oven it's here. And how long would those cook? 17 minutes. 17 minutes? Okay. All righty. Well, just like always, as in TV. Da da! All righty. So, okay, let's see what we have here. All righty, here you go. All righty. How we do here? Oh, my God. All right, this price is going to see how you guys did. All righty. So who goes first? Yes. So you. All right, so here we go. Now, Ooh, Sonia. Those are really good. <laughs> those are really good. Wow. So you know what? You guys have just showed us how we can get a lot of fruits and vegetables into our daily diets. Good job. Bye. All right.